This is a camera centric device from Lenovo released back in 2015 and this one is called Lenovo Vibe Short. This device looks very beautiful as you can see here. It's fully metal and glass built and looks really premium although it was a mid-range device. And weirdly enough which I have never seen it got a toggle switch for auto and pro mode which is really really rare for a device to have. I haven't seen anything like that in any other devices. We do have devices with two stage shutter key. So does this device also have shutter key here. But this is extra key which toggle between auto and pro mode and I will take an in-depth look on this button. First of all, let's talk about the physical overview of the device. It got a 5 inch full HD IPS display. The display quality is good and mine is already correct but it does not matter it works in front we also have a front facing camera which is 8 megapixel on the top we got 3.5mm headphone jack with secondary microphone hole and at the bottom we have micro usb port with speaker wheels and left hand side we got our sim card tray and micro sd card slot and right hand side we got volume rockers power button a toggle switch to toggle between auto and pro mode and twisted shutter button. On the back we got our main camera sensor which is 16 megapixel with laser autofocus and triple flash as you can see here and the back is actually glass and it is correct now but it looks good actually the design is pretty good although it is fingerprint magnet but it looks good. Under the hood this device is powered by a snapdragon 6 15 Tucker processor and 3 gig of RAM and 32 gig of internal storage and storage is expendable. So the spec is pretty good for a 2015 mid-range device so it's quite good and this device is running on Android 5.1. So we check here about device and device information as you can see it is running on Android 5.1 but this device did get a marshmallow update but I could not able to update my device. I did try to update through the updater but it does not connect to the server anyway it does not matter actually marshmallow and android lollipop both of them kind of useless right now you can still do few things in here actually like doing lightweight gaming and browsing and other things but like most of the application will not work if you are in social media like facebook application will not work you have to download the older version of it and manually you have to install and so does messenger and other things so in terms of usability it is not really that great but it's still pretty much useful as a dumb phone but the main focus of this device is actually its camera so let's check out what we are getting with the camera camera application as you can see it's pretty bare bonnets for right now so you can take picture with shutter button twist the shutter button focus and take picture but as for now you can't really do much in the camera menu we don't really have any option here just we can choose the spec ratio quality and ISO so these few things we can do right now but the main thing is like when you toggle between the pro mode so if I toggle the pro mode as you can see pro mode activated and now as you can see we have a lot of option one surprising feature of this device is swipe from the shutter button i have control over iso shutter speed focus and also white balance and this ui is something we have seen before actually so it's pretty much similar to windows phone camera ui so if i look at the lumia camera application and if i swipe from here so as you can see it's pretty much similar not only pretty much similar as you can see here we do have like iso manual focus and white balance and everything so it's pretty much similar and we can choose between iso shutter and everything here so it's pretty much similar to this it's kind of surprising that this device also got this feature but it is working as you can see manual focus is working so quite a good feature but this feature only works on the main camera sensor and only when you are taking pictures not in the video also in the pro mode if you click here we do have few other things like light beside you creating lightning 
or city traffic or star trails so these things also there which uh, you can use and you can do this kind of thing with manual mode too actually but we do have like default template for those so that's good and also we do have few more option here in pro mode panorama art nightscape and artistic hdr blur background white selfie and golden years so these are the few features also available in the pro mode in the regular auto mode we don't really have those features as you can see this device also can shoot up to 1080p 60fps uh, with the back sensor and front sensor can shoot up to 1080p 30fps so that's good for a 2015 device and that's all what we are getting with the camera although this was a camera centric device that, but the camera performance is not really that great i did take some picture with this device let me show you so these are the some pictures as you can see they are not really that great it's not really that great as you can see here uh, most of the time because of the laser autofocus it misses the focus so that's weird and let me play a video so I play this video as you can see here the autofocus is not working and it cannot focus on my phone and it's pretty much bloody and if I remove my phone and go around it can focus again so as you can see here it can focus but for some reason the autofocus does not work properly that is what you are getting although it was a camera centric device but this kind of weird things are there but as for a mid-range device this is pretty good actually the build quality is top notch and it's a premium build quality device the display is also pretty good it's 5 inch it's pretty decent viewing angle also pretty good and the processor also could quite good for the 2015 device and you know it works actually pretty smoothly although in today's time you can't really do much with this device but there are a really good community for this device so if you want to install like custom rom on this device you can do that i don't really think i'm going to install any kind of custom rom on this device but if anyone wants to install custom rom you can install but i don't really know if you install custom rom this button will work so the device is pretty usable it's pretty fast and smooth and the speaker quality of this device is also pretty good So the sound quality is pretty good of this device and that's all what we are getting i expected that this is going to be really good camera device but it's not really that great and that's all about lenovo 5 short thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one